Check it out, discover down under us. Everywhere you turn, amazing water views, making Lakes Entrance a unique destination. Tim, I've got three words for you. Location, 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 which are also the best words to sum up the Eastern Beach Holiday Park. It's a stone's throw from everything. Just ask resident manager Drew Robinson. Now, let's have a listen to these. The ocean in the background? Is yep. it? You'll hear that 24 hours a day. It's only a five minute walk away. Wow. And that's the surf beach over there. So there's a good salmon gutter over yeah. there. Uh, good for the kids, oh. good for the sand castles, oh. uh, as well as us bordering on Cunningham Arm, which the kids can fish on, or you could almost cast a rod from your deck over the fence into the water if you were really keen. You so could, couldn't you? We're lucky, very lucky oh, that it's way. It's a beautiful spot. So how many cabins have you got on offer, Drew? We have seven in two styles. Okay. Two bedroom, two bathroom. Okay, the for the big that, family? For the big family, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the parents that like their privacy. Yep. So only two of those, and mm -hmm. then five of the smaller two bedroom, one bathroom. Deluxe. Yes. Nice, yep. nice. All uh, have their own private barbecues, private decks, uh, and water views and partial water views. Hard to take, I should imagine. Being a top tourist park, you yes. offer all of those discounts. We do, yes, top tourist members, definitely. Mm -hmm. yep. And you love your annuals. Uh, we do, yeah. We've always got lots of space for people that want to self-establish. Yep. We also have quite a few annual sites that change hands periodically. So anyone that wants to base themselves here sort of semi-permanently for 180 nights a year, they're welcome to, oh, to do that. Really worth it. Really, really worth it. Drew, you've got some pretty good seafood around here. We do, yep. Uh, the biggest fishing fleet in Victoria. Mm -hmm. So what we encourage our guests to do is buy it straight off the boat. So uh, whilst the guests are getting up of a morning, they're normally uh, tying up down at the wharf and go and buy it straight off the boat it's caught that morning. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if you can't catch your own salmon at the beach, then you're best off sneaking down there before the wife gets up oh, and uh, <laughs> showing her what you've got. Check it out. Definitely. <laughs> And while you do, the kids can entertain themselves for hours in the pool, the games room, or on the ever-popular jumping pillow. For Janelle and Patrick and their two young sons, this is as good as it gets. Have you holidayed here before? No. OK. How do you find the park? Love it. What do you think? Your best park I've been to, I think. OK. Mm. Patrick, Janelle. What I have here is $20. I'm going to offer you the $20 challenge. And it's simple, Janelle. It's simple, Patrick. You take this $20, and what happens is you use this and whatever you have on hand in the van, and if you can cook Brookie and I and you and Patrick and the boys dinner... Well, you don't have to cook the boys dinner if you don't want to, but uh, it would be great if you did. We can give it a go. Oh. We've got to cook anyway. OK, <laughs> OK. Time to work up an appetite, Tim. I've got the perfect thing, Brooke. <laughs> this week's gadget is a little beauty that folds out into a bigger beauty. So you've rocked up to the park and set up and realised, oh, my goodness, I've got no bread and milk. So you think to yourself, oh, I'll go and pop into the front office. But, oh, no, it's closed. So what do you do? Oh, you go to the back of your van and you pull out this little baby. And in as quick as it's taken for me to tell you this story, You've finished building your Volto collapsible bike and it's off to the shops. Ta-da! And I've saved the best till last. This Volto foldable bike, well, sort of special. You don't even have to pedal. Now, Tim, who have you found for the $20 challenge? Well, I've got Patrick and Janelle, and they've got two little kids. So oh. whatever they're cooking, it can't be too spicy, because we've got the kids. It might just be sandwiches and cordial. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's oh. a piece to resist on. Oh. I don't know, it looks pretty ordinary. No. But, you know, I've got limited room in my caravan. It is a prawn salad. Yes. Prawns were caught last night. Oh from Lakes Entrance. Yes. The herbs that are in here are from the herb garden and caravan park. Oh. Very healthy, mm. local produce. I've really enjoyed it today. Mm. I'm going to have to give it a 9.3. That's very cool. Wow, that's yeah. Really enjoyed it. That is great mm. because I'm going to go straight to the top of the list and go 10. It's 10. It's mm. 10 every day. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's 10 <laughs> all day long, every day. Because Excellent. The garlic is amazing in it. The, the herbs from the herb garden in the caravan park, mm. high grade there. Mm. And of course, the prawns straight off the boat. Yeah. Doesn't get better than that. No.
Just for taking part in our $20 challenge, our cooks receive a Waco Cool Ice Icebox and a 12-month subscription to Caravan World or Camper Trailer Australia magazine. And if they manage to stay in the lead right up to the end of the series, they'll take away our major prize from Dometic, valued at $2,000. That's right, Brookie. Our winner will have their pick from the amazing Dometic range to spruce up their van or camper trailer.